Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Comox Valley RCMP continue to be tight-lipped about where a high-risk convicted sex offender is living today after being released from a federal corrections institution. Mounties will only say Adrian Julian Wilson is living somewhere in the valley. As Dean Stoltz reports, an expert on sex offenders says the public needs to be vigilant, but not vigilantes. Kumox Valley RCMP are calling 33-year-old Adrian Julian Wilson an extreme risk to reoffend, and on Thursday released a rare public interest notification alerting the community. There's a possibility of risk to the public here. Wilson has a criminal record that includes convictions for robbery and sex-related offenses. His victims include both adult men and women. Police say he's a danger to the public but are prohibited by Canada's Privacy Act to say exactly where he'll be living. We feel that the entire community needs to be aware of this gentleman and that's why we're making sure that we tell everyone because he's got access to vehicles, he can walk, he can bike. So we want to make sure that the entire community is aware of this gentleman and not the people that live, just the people that live close by. We have to teach people how to be vigilant and not vigilantes. Linda Halliday Don't Sumner you. has tried for over 30 years to get a sex offender registry in Canada that is open to the public so we know where convicted sex offenders live, but she says it's not for the reasons you might think. Don't chase him out of town. Uh, as long as the public's aware of who he is, what the conditions are, then it becomes the responsibility of the public to monitor, supervise and control. And if he breaches any of those conditions, to immediately phone the RCMP. We're told that he's in the Comox Valley because he has family here. He has a long list of court-ordered conditions, including no contact with his victims or members of their immediate families. He must immediately advise his bail supervisor of any sexual, intimate, familiar or familial relationship with a male or female. He can't have any weapons like knives, firearms, crossbows or have ammunition or explosive substances. He cannot consume or possess alcohol or controlled substances and cannot enter any liquor store or beer and wine store or any business whose primary purpose is the sale of alcohol. Halliday Sumner says we'd be surprised at the number of sex offenders living in our communities and that the average offender has 53 victims. She says people in general just want to know where they are. When people get angry and vigilante and chase them out of town is when they find out there's been a sex offender living next door to them they didn't know and they've been sending their children over there. Adrian Julian Wilson is an Aboriginal male standing 168 centimeters tall. He weighs 77 kilograms and has brown hair and brown eyes.